How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two game jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, welcome back. This one is Botanic, described as being a plant-based Tamagotchi-like game. My name is Green. Greenum? I'm trying to think of a way to fit Green and, and Graham into a thing. There, I'm green, but it's kind of spelt a little bit not at all like my name. Perfect. Nailed it. Moving on. Okay, took a little second to load there, but now we should be all good. As per usual, it's kind of like a faked pixel art thing. I, I feel like I've seen enough of that now that I knew to anticipate the ability to, like, rotate the screen. What is going on here? We got, what's up? Bonger. Are these other people who have played Jun Tane Grain? Isabel, Meg, Gunny Kiro, Sleep, J, Pat. I'm shocked we haven't seen anything like offensive yet. Juicy, someone smashed their keyboard with their forehead. Gareth, Luke, Chris, Josh. A bunch of these might have been pre programmed into the game, like the ones that seem like more regular names. What about some of these, the guys who are like my neighbors, the ones living most close to me? That's Jun and Tane. And Isabel. Those are my immediate neighbors. What is going on? What could I actually do here? <laughs> Other than drag and flip my little ball around. He looks real happy. Looks like he enjoys having this done. But I don't know what to do beyond this. Time to resort to the instructions, I think. Okay, I can totally click on other creatures. What did I just do? Did I just initiate something? Oh, I went to someone else's garden. Hey, how's it going, Gunny Kiro's garden? Looks like maybe you should have taken better care of your plants. Looks like everything's pretty dead. You got these limp worms crawling around. Dead plant Lance, dead plant Cecil. I like Cecil as a plant name. Well, your garden's not looking so great. I guess I gotta yank mine high enough that it... Oh, there's little worms crawling around here, too. Do, does my... Little orb guy want a worm? Can I bring you a worm? I think I just have to yank it more up more aggressively. That's all it was. I wasn't doing a good enough yank on it. Well, we'll try to not kill our garden. I'm guessing everyone else has died just from, you know, not doing anything for a while. Seed Lou and Seed Shehesharade? Shehesharade. Shehesharade. I don't have a clue, but I love it. I... That's, I'm all about Shesserade. It's even better than Cecil. Cecil can get bent. It's a dumb name. I don't like it anymore. Are you tethered to the room? I thought maybe it was the other end of like a little jump rope or something. You seem to be hooked to it. Well, let's get a worm inside our plant pot if possible. Just chuck that on in there. Get some, spread some nutrition around. Oh, <laughs> I love his little shocked face when I grab when I grab this dude. Otherwise, I like don't know what to do. Oh, empty pot on the ground. Didn't mean to do that. Back up on the thing, please. But if I put it on the ground, does that make it accessible for you to like water or anything like that? Oh, I have to click click the other side of the hose. Okay, you go back on the table. Happy, happy sapling. Happy sapling shizzerade. And then I gotta grab this water. <laughs> Those water physics are absolutely impeccable. I love the way it kind of like connects to. You got some serious water bending abilities going on here. I don't know what to name this guy. I guess he's Griane. I, it's just, I'm Graham, he's Griane. That's how we'll distinguish. Happy and happy. Oh, so happy. I guess I go visit other people's gardens for a minute and see what they have going on. Boonger. Bonger. I think it would be Boonger. 
you managed to remove li literally everything. You don't even have dead plants. You just got a couple of limp worms. I can kind of drag and pull other people's guys, but I don't think I can take the hose from them. Maybe I can. Maybe I can go to other people's gardens and, like, help care for it. Like, contribute to watering their plants if they haven't done it. That was a part of that Animal Crossing mobile game. You could totally, like, help people take after their gardens. Wiener. There it is. I knew someone had to have named themselves something silly like that. Wiener's garden is a disappointment. I expected it to be full of uh, lush, healthy bushes. Oh, I opened one on accident. Who are we visiting now? Hopes. Hope four? I guess hope with a three was taken. There's slightly more hope. Seed Tracy, can I can I plant your garden for you, Hope? Cyril the seed? I think maybe that's why Cecil was appealing as well. There's something about just the alliterative sounds. I don't think I can actually do any planting for you. I was going to... I guess I don't want to steal control of your garden away. I was really hoping I could do some watering for you, though. That's too bad. Everything is still happy back at my garden. I am maybe being too impatient. <laughs> it doesn't seem to need any sort of immediate care. I want to drag way further down along here. Investigate some far off gardens. Greg, Liam, F. The letter F's garden. Let's see what they... Let's see if they put more effort into their garden than they did picking a name. Uh, they got a limp pile of earthworms. Antoinetta. Antoinetta? Antonietta. It's a weird one. And Portia. They didn't even plant their seeds. I... Honestly, I give their garden an F. <laughs> the joke writes itself. Moon Cat. Moon Cat's garden. It surely will have plenty of promise. It's super dead. But they also have a million different seeds. Spirit, Natil, Tilda, Catherine, Susanna, Fust Faustine. At Chiara, I don't even know if I got to all of them. There's so many. Evo, you got a dead plant with a dead plant's names. Carol and Bernice. Uh, it seems like growing plants and earning seeds is about all you can actually do in this game. I presumably have to grow a plant first before it will start producing seeds. Wow, that went sideways so quickly. Did I waterlog them or something? How the hell did you die? It's been nine min minutes since I started recording, which means like you plants only got planted like six minutes ago. What the shit's going on here? Revive them. Bring them back. You're a terrible gardener. Why did I hire you? This is a travesty. Oh, I yanked him. I drank, yanked Lizette. I don't even think there was Lizette. No, that was Chassessorade before, whatever the fuck it was called. <laughs> if I chuck you onto the floor, oh, I can grab the actual plant. Is that how I managed to get the seedlings? I couldn't figure that out before. Like, I, I don't know how I did it on the other plant. I'm, I'm trying to put this plant on the ground so I can apply the earthworm to it. Oh, maybe you decompose it with the worms and that's what gives you the seeds. Go, go over there and contribute to the circle of life. You get out of the way, triangle cone boy. You're, you're no good to anyone. If I stick the plant pot on the ground, let me drag an earthworm to it. It's so hard to deal with the three dimensions when you're trying to drag something around. So I'm just going to wing this around until something happens. Really stretch them out. Give this worm some real exercise. Oh, I can grab the flies even. How do I get rid of the flies? Oh, I yank them around a little bit and they get like spooked and fly away. Nice. I didn't like having the grossness of flies hovering around my my dead plants. It's really making the death and decay in this room all the more apparent. Oh, that's how you, once you take the plant pots off, you can like move around your tables and things too. There's more freedom to do things in this game than I first gave it credit for, but still I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I wish we would have held some sort of funeral for a Shashasharade. There we go. I had to click on the actual pot, not the plant. Now I got Offer. And I'm going to stick you in a new plant pot. One that has not had a plant before. No, no bad blood going on in that plant pot. It's all fresh, 
promising, full of possibilities. I can't pick up and move this tiny little table the way I wanted to. Wow, this goes on a lot further than I thought. I'm seeing the end, though. Dragging us to the far, far end, and then we'll come back and see what's changed. Okay, I want to go to Jerry Maguire's garden. <laughs> Obviously, everything's just going to be dead, but maybe, maybe they had achieved some new thing that others hadn't. Can I get rid of your flies for you at the very least, Jerry? Maybe I can, maybe I can do some form of good. If I can't revive your plants, at least I can get rid of the annoying flies. I'm, that's the least I can do for you, Jer. What the hell? Everything died again. What's up with that? You just leave and come back and it's just it's just dead and gone? Game over, man? Now I got Winifred Temple and for some reason it just gave me offer back. I feel like that was a bit of a weird mistake. One, one, and three? Is this indicating that he's supposed to be like a third generation or something? Huh. That probably wasn't supposed to happen. I love the way this guy goes chasing after the hose when you start using it. it. Seems like such a panic. I guess he would be doing a lot of water damage. This does it seems to be like an an indoor garden. <laughs> it's interesting to have something that's only like one pixel wide and deep and everything like that be interpreted into 3D space the way these worms and the hose are. I guess his arms even and everything. It's just just kind of a, a neat thing. So everything's really happy. I'm gonna move, like, two steps down the road, go to Val's place, and come back and see if everything died again. I didn't even do anything at Val's place. Just popped my head in there, and everything is dead. I don't understand. <laughs> I, like, super don't understand this game right now. Now I just create a bunch of new things again. I got Eliod, Abigail, Winifred, and Anitra. I I don't understand. I don't know how to make my garden live or or do well or anything. There's screenshots of like these cool grown plants and I just can't seem to do it. So I guess I'm abandoning my garden. I guess neither of those two left thumbs are green. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again with more Sock Pop Collective tomorrow.